Today we're going to install FFmpeg for Windows. It's the quick and easy version. So all you do is go to your browser, uh, and I'm going to search with Google, but you can search with your uh, search engine of choice. The uh, search engine hits might be a little different, but you just search for FFmpeg like that. And uh, you, what you want is zeroni.com. This one here, where it says builds. I'll post the link under the video. Then you can download FFmpeg. Now, first, you need to know what version of Windows you're running. So, to do that in Windows, um, this one is Windows 7, but it's the same process for Windows uh, 8 and 10. You go to your control panel or your uh, computer you can search for system and go to your system like this and then you can see if it's 64-bit or 32-bit right here once you know that you select the right one if in doubt just use the default and then click on this download link right here so uh, that takes a few seconds to download it's going to give you a zip file so just double click it and your file manager will open up the contents of that and you just go into the secondary folder and into the bin subfolder and you've got your ffmpeg programs so uh, I'm going to close this next thing you do is you want, you need to create a a folder for a destination folder for your program. So in my case, I just created uh, a bin folder on my computer, C, bin, C colon bin. You can put it anywhere like, you just remember where it is. So you just uh, select your download files, drag it into your bin folder, and you're done. And you have, now you have FFmpeg uh, in your, on your, on your hard drive. So we can close this. To run FFmpeg, use your command line. So you just go to your run box here, it's a CMD, and CD into your bin directory here. And there's your FFmpeg programs. So you type in FFmpeg, hit enter. And if you get an output like this with the version number and a bunch of other stuff, you know it's working. There's two ways to run FFmpeg from the command line. You could just type in the full path like this, and it find, Windows finds it, and it runs just fine, or you can add it to your path. So uh, a couple different ways to do this, but the one way is to go back to your uh, computer settings. Go to Advanced and environment variables and down in your system variables here and you look for path and click edit and you add it to the the end of your the variable so colon semicolon c colon bin in my case enter and it's in the path now in Windows 10, it looks like this. Um, you go to the system variables, find the path, click edit, and then you can just add a new entry by itself. Click new, type in C colon slash bin in this case, and then you're done. You click OK, OK, and out, and that is it. Everything else is the same. So then, anywhere you are, you can type FFmpeg anywhere and it'll run and you don't have to type in the full path if you want and that's it it's ready to go uh we'll sh there's other videos i'll show you what to do with ffmpeg uh it's a very powerful tool uh but it's as simple as that see you next time brown coat dad out <laughs>